Hi, my name is Mary. Thank you for joining us today while we stretch and get a little stronger so our everyday activities are just a little easier to do. Today, we have a really special guest and her name is Connie. Hi, everybody. I'm glad to be back with Mary again and I'm all set to exercise. Great, now can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Yes, I could. Will you? Oh, sure, yeah. Thank you. You know, um, a little bit about your hobbies, okay, things you like sure. to do. Well, I have lived in Simsbury for going on 37 years now. You don't look that old. Well, I was... Five? Less than born. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. However, um, since I've been retired, I have had to find some things to keep me busy. And I take Italian lessons. I love genealogy. I have mapped out all of the branches of our family. And um, now I'm thinking about taking piano lessons. My <gasps> fingers limber. That's wonderful. I'll let you know how that comes out. Oh, I can't wait to hear. Thank you. Now, today Connie and I are going to be working with tin pans, the kind that you'd cook a turkey in. So we each have two tin pans. Now, tin pans, or if you have like a tin pan that a pie comes in, that would work too. If you don't have anything like that and have a paper plate, that will work also. But if you're not working on a carpeted floor and you're working on a wooden floor or a tile floor, then none of that will work for you. But what will work for you is a face cloth or a dish towel because we're going to be putting it under our foot and sliding it back and forth. So you want to make sure that you do not hurt your floor. Now, because we're going back and forth and front to back, we'll need to check our environment. So you want to look around and make sure there's nothing that you're going to step on. We're also going to be reaching up and over, so you want to make sure there's nothing that you're going to be knocking over, like maybe a lamp on a table or a sleeping kitten or a stack of books or a chandelier. So we'll want to make sure our environment is nice and clean. We are in a sturdy chair, so we don't have any rockers or wheels on our chairs. And so it's nice and sturdy. We'll be sitting at the edge of our chair to make our bellies and backs work a little harder. So you'll want to wear loose, comfortable clothes so you can stretch and aren't restrained at all. You'll want to have water that we drink before, during, and after our time together. And you'll want to check with your doctor because he'll tell you exercises you should or shouldn't do. And you want to make sure you go at your own pace, so listen to your body. If we're doing something and it doesn't feel right to you, stop doing it. If we're going too slowly and in an easy and a safe way, you can increase the pace and want to, go right ahead. If you want to decrease the pace, fabulous. If you need to stop and join us later, it is great because it's the consistency of exercising that keeps us nice and right. strong and healthy. So listen to your body and go at your own pace. Okay, are you ready? Oh, I am so ready. <laughs> okay, now, when we work with the pan, for some of the time, we're gonna be holding on to the pan. If holding on to something like this is difficult because your grip is tender, then you can put on a pair of gloves or a pair of mittens, and that will give you a better grip and you don't have to squeeze so hard. We're sitting at the edge of our chair so that our bellies and backs work. Now, if your back hurts, you can put a pillow right behind your chair so you can have good support and yet your buttocks will still be at the edge of the chair so we can get the range of motion of the hips. You can pull away from the pillow every once in a while to make sure that belly and back are working. Okay, are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. Let's do it. She is ready. Okay, so let's get our warm up. We're actually going to warm up with our trays and we're going to just simply place our hands on the bottom of the tray with our thumbs along the sides, okay? And nice and easily, all we do is look straight ahead and just bring the tray to one side and to the other. And right away, you're going to feel a little stretch in the torso. Can you feel that a little bit? Yes, right along the side. That's great. That is just perfect. So we're going a little to one side. Our posture is nice and tall, and our spines are beautiful and long. Our eyes are bright and shiny. And don't you love working with these pans? I do. Me too. I think our exercise class will really pan out this time. Oh, okay, so think? let's I think. Let's hold it front, please. 
And what we're going to do is holding it so it's very comfortable for your hand or wrist. So you may want to put it on the sides because we're going to bring the pan right up to the sky. Here we go. Right up to the sky and then right back down. This is like if we were goddesses and we were raising our offerings to the gods up in heaven. Right. Yeah, so if there's reincarnation. I do this every Tuesday. Yeah. Oh no. Like if there's reincarnation, we come back as goddesses, we'll know how to do this. I did that. Okay. Now, we're gonna hold the pan up so it's comfortable for you. Let's turn our whole bodies over this way, nice and tall. Then we come back to center and turn our whole bodies the other way. Great job. Then we come back to center and give our shoulders a rest. Could you feel that? I certainly could. Now, if you came to my house and I baked this for you, you probably wouldn't like it. So when I wasn't looking, you'd pick up one end like this and pour it out. Then come back and pour the other out on the other side. You don't have to shake it out. I mean, it wasn't that bad. Well, it's a little <laughs> burnt on. <laughs> I mean, I didn't want to say anything. Thank you. I certainly appreciate you because I'm really, I'm really trying to hone in on my culinary talents. There Mary, you have other talents. <laughs> Be satisfied. <laughs> okay. That's why I like Connie so much. She understands how it is to have so many talents and not. Then we come back to center. This time, we're going to bring our pan right up to the sky. And this time we're gonna lean a little over to one side. Come back to center, please. And lean over to the other side. Our spines are nice and long. And we lean over, good job. And back to center one more time. And lean, you're doing great. Come back to center and then bring your pan over to the other side and down. That was terrific. How do your shoulders feel? Great, but great. also I'm much more flexible. So when I go out and do the twist, oh! <laughs> People won't be able to touch you. Ow, you're gonna be hot. Now, because we've been working our shoulders, let's relax our hands down by our sides and pull our shoulders right up to our ears and then pull your shoulders back, back, back and let them slide down into your back pockets. So we lift the shoulders up close to our ears, pull our shoulders back and then let them sink down into the back pockets. One more time, please. Pull the shoulders up, pull them back, and let them sink down into the back pockets. Then we take our hands and we hold on to the back sides of our chair, and then we lean forward just a little bit, lifting that chest up. So we're stretching out our shoulders. Can you feel that a little bit? Feels Great. good. Excellent. Okay, and then come back to center. So how are you doing with that? Great. Okay, we're gonna flip it over because there's nothing in it. And we're gonna put it long ways too. If you have a pie plate, this is really easy. But make sure it's not breakable. So your hand goes in it just like this. Got it? Okay, I got it. Okay, long spine. Hold on to your knee with the opposite hand and then we're gonna sweep across the body and out. And then we're gonna bring it up to the sky so we have to crack that wrist and right back down, very good. Let's bring it across the body, feeling that in the shoulder a little bit. Then we bring it back, bring it back as far as you can so you feel a nice stretch in the chest, excellent. Bring it right up to the sky and you're gonna feel a crack in the wrist. And back to center, excellent. And slowly bring it back to center. Could you feel that a little bit? That's great, great. more flexibility. Yes, here we go. Our palm is on the underside hand on the thigh because this is good support so we don't fall out of our chairs. And let's, <laughs> That's embarrassing. I, it's so awful, yeah, because once I landed on my tin pan and smashed it, uh-huh, and then we bring it out to the side, feel that chest open right up. Bring it up a little bit so we're working the top of the shoulder so we can stretch up and reach to the top of the cupboard. Slowly lower it down, bring it across the chest just a little bit more and then we bring it out again, but bring it out a little more. Thank you for not grazing my shoulder. I was Come so back careful. to center and all the way up. Feel that stretch. Good job. Then we slowly come back down. One more time, bring it across. Now we're going to hold it here. Breathe in, breathe out. See if you can bring it across a little more. Excellent. And then come back to center. Bring it right out to the side. Back and up and back. Feel how that chest opens right up. 
right in front of your shoulder. Great Excellent. stretch. Isn't that a super duper? That's a super duper. And then slowly come back to center. That was great. So you could really feel that in the shoulders. Okay, here we go. Now we're holding on with our thumb right here and our fingers in, breathing in long spine. We're only leaning forward a little bit, keeping nice tall postures. We're leaning forward a little bit, stretching out, and then coming back. So what we're doing is we're working on leaning forward, the hinge on the hip, ear, shoulder, hip, beautiful straight line, and exhale. I'm saying that because that's what Connie's doing. She's like way ahead of me. Exhale as you come out. There you go. Great job. And only come as far as it's comfortable for you. Great job. Now we're going to bring it right back to center. Stretch it right up over our heads. Bend the elbows and bring it right behind our heads. Can you feel that That's a little a bit? One. Stretch right up to the sky. Bring it right down in front of your belly. Hold the belly in. Reach and fold from the hinge on the hip. Slowly coming back to center, stretching it right up to the sky. Excellent. And bringing it right down behind you. Feel those triceps stretch out. And then all the way up one more time. This is our third and last time. Yahoo! Flat back comes forward, holding the belly in. We don't hold our breath. Slowly coming back to center, stretching right up to the sky, bending the elbows. Wowee! And back to center. And I would say that was a pretty good stretch. How about you? It certainly was. Excellent. Now we want to stretch that back out. That back was really working. So we place our hands right in the pan and we slide the pan over our knees. Ah, that feels so good. Doesn't that feel good? That's fun. That's a great one. All the way up. There we go. So if you have any little pets, like little cats or hamsters or rabbits, you can put them in the pan, put them down the chute or chute, and poop, out they go, right at your feet. Then you pick them up and bring them right back. More likely, you're bending over to pick up your cat. Oh, that's put right. On your lap. Oh, I love cats. Don't you love cats? I love how they purr. We have a dog that purrs, you know. You don't. Uh huh. Yeah, when he rubs it, when you rub his ears, he goes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I do the same thing. <laughs> Slowly come back to center. So <laughs> <laughs> okay, so how do you feel with that? Great. Okay, good job. Now, we're going to work the abdomen. Lots of people think you can't work the tummy just sitting in a chair, but by golly, you sure can. So, now we're going to hold our pan sideways like this. Good job. I'm now ready. we're sitting with our buttocks towards the edge of the chair. We're pulling our belly in, kind of scooping it out. I had an instructor once that said, scoop your belly out. And I thought to myself, if I scoop my belly out, where would I put the residue and why would I put the residue back in? That's the truth. Jeez, maybe I think too much. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> so we pull the belly in to make sure the back is nice and flat. So we're not arching our back. We're pulling the belly in. We're folding back from the hinge on the hip. Our gaze is straight ahead, chin parallel to the floor. Okay, now while we're here, we're gonna bring the pan only in one hand right out there. Excellent. Back to center and out the other side. Very nice. Now, let's see if we can bring the hand back a little further. Can you feel that in the tummy a little bit? I do. Thank you for not whacking my shoulder. I'm doing my best. And straight, now all the time we're leaning back a little bit and we're really working that stomach, but we are not hurting our back. This is the third and last step. Excellent. Very good. And then we come right back up and give our bellies a break. Mm. Aha. Then we're going to take our pan, put our thumbs right in it like little Tom Thumb. Who stuck his thumb in a pie and pulled out a plum? Somebody. Old King Cole? Do you know how long it's been since I said nursery rhymes to my children? <laughs> no, I don't. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Leaning back. Look, somebody stuck their plum in and pulled out, somebody stuck their thumb, thumb in, in, pulled out a plum, plum. And said, what a good girl well, am I. That's right, that's right. And then they fell off the wall. No, that was Humpty Dumpty. Do you know what, what, ha what all the king's men and all the king's horses did when Humpty Dumpty fell off the wall? Made an omelet? <laughs> Scrambled eggs. <laughs> <laughs> Back to center. There you go, and then let's give those backs a break. So we were leaning back, pulling the belly against the back, making sure we weren't arching, so our back was, our, our back was flattish, 
our bellies were in. Okay, how was that one? Well, we hope our bellies are in. Yeah, we try. And if our bellies aren't in, all we do is fluff out our shirts and that works. Yes. Okay, now we're gonna take our pan and we're gonna put our one pan down and put one foot in one pan. Now remember, if you have a pie plate, that's A-OK. -okay. If you have a towel or a tile or a wooden or a linoleum floor, make sure you use your either a face cloth or a dish towel because this might scrape your floor. Mm -hmm. And I don't think my personal training insurance will cover this, no. if you know what I mean. Okay. Now, we're nice and tall and beautiful. Our spines are long. And we're going to slide this foot out a little that way. Good. And back in. So what we're working on now is the flexibility of the hip. Our bellies are in, our chests are high, our shoulders are, remember, not only back, but slid down our spines. Very nice, good work. And if you have a wooden floor, it's to your benefit to put a dust cloth under your foot little, and you can spray it with something. Pad, right? A Swiffer pad, yes, a Swiffer pad. Two you are a, with one stone, I always say. A genius, Connie. Good job, and then come right back to center. So the muscles here pulled it out, the muscles here pulled it in, mm -hmm. and this poor guy was really working to beat the band. So now we change feet. There you go. Remember, if you have a pie plate, you might just want to put the ball of the foot in it. Long, beautiful spines, and sweep it out a little. Whenever we do these exercises, we just come out a little, and then the more flexible our joints get and the muscles and ligaments and tendons, then we can really bring that leg out much further. There you go. This is great. So you're going to feel a little in the thigh because we do have to keep it elevated slightly, the whole leg. We stretch out the inner thigh. There you go. Great job. Feel can you feel muscle. this? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yippee! And when we have muscles, we have to feed them good food, fruits and vegetables. Do you know my sister isn't eating any dairy or sugar or flour? I would die. Me too. Come back to center. Ah. Now. Dairy, sugar, and flour. Chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> that uses all of them. Okay, let's grab your second pan. There you go. Okay. Now, this is going to be a thinking person's exercise. Watch oh, okay. Connie I'll, carefully. I'll come back. <laughs> so, it's going to be this leg that goes out and this arm that goes out. And then oh. when they come back in, it's going to be this leg and this arm. So, it's opposites. So, here we go. Are you ready? Oh, we'll yeah. go slowly. Okay. Breathe in. As you breathe out, stretch. Good. Back to center and stretch. This is great. This is great. Connie got it on her first try. I am very proud of Connie. I am always proud of Connie. I'm when proud of me, too. <laughs> When we do exercises, <laughs> remember, there's no failures at all. Maybe you can do it, maybe you can't do it. It's okay, you're moving, and your bodies appreciate that. That's very nice, Constance, that I little. I thought I'd do a little wrist exercise while I was at it. I love that, a little wrist exercise. I can count on you. Okay, now we're gonna hold it, and we're gonna go same side. This time our hands are by our shoulders, and we push diagonally, not out to the side, not out to the front, but we push diagonally and our hand goes with it. Are you ready? I know you are. Show me. You can do it. Here we go. Da -da. I can da -da. do that. I know you can. Here we go. Diagonally out. There you go. And we're sitting nice and tall. Our legs and our arms are working. Our heads have to stay high and we have to have smiles huge running across our face. Good Great job. Exercise. Yes, that's absolutely true. Now, do you think you can do both at the same time? Cheek and arms? No, two arms, two legs. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> One and two and three and four and five and six and seven. You are done. Woo! Could you feel that? I felt that in my my abdomen as well. Yes. Total body workout. Woohoo. Yes. Okie doke. Now we're gonna bring both feet to one side. Okay? Hold the belly in. Here we go. This is okay. gonna require a lot of work. Okay, bring them both to one side and then both to the other. 
anywhere you can get them over there, Connie. And then How does she slide. think these things up? <laughs> I lay awake at night. I'll bet. And that, which is why I have kind of bags under my <laughs> eyes. But I am so happy because I found a new concealer. <laughs> really? Now, what Connie is doing is leaning back. So now we're getting our stomachs. That was a good thing, Connie. Oh, good. I thought we're it was. We're getting our stomachs. Because I didn't know how to do it right. Our thighs. <laughs> we're getting our external obliques. We've got the whole world in our hand. And now we're done. Whew! How are you doing? That was great. You did terrifically. How about a little water? And then let's get some nice stretches. We worked our arms, we worked our legs, we worked our abs and our back. My favorite exercise. Drinking water? Hoist in a glass. Full of water? Or juice? If you say so. <laughs> but it's top shelf, whatever it is. That's right. I got this off of the top shelf, actually. <laughs> So She's now, good to me. we're going to get a nice stretch. So we take our feet right out of the pans. Okay. All righty. And our buttocks are still at the edge of the chair. We extend one leg straight out. We breathe in and lengthen the spine. Now when we fold forward, our back does not hurt because we have the weight of our upper body being carried by the hand. Okay. Breathe in, long spine. Exhale, and let's scooch that arm down. There you go. Can you feel that stretch? I sure can. Now, keeping down just like this, bring the back of that hand back and up towards me. Thank you for not hitting me. I just love Connie when she doesn't hit me. <laughs> Come back to center and sweep right up on the knee and slowly come up and take the hand that was on the knee, thumb up and draw the arm back and pull it back and up just a little bit. Feel the like beautiful that. stretch. That's perfect, perfect. Now we come back to center and stretch that arm right up to the sky. And then we lean over in the opposite direction. Top elbows pulled back a little, stretch a little more. That's great. And then slowly come back to center. That was excellent. Let's change legs, please. We extend the leg, but we don't snap the knee down. Our upper body weight is carried by the hand on the thigh. We breathe in and lengthen the spine. And as we exhale, we slowly slide down. So again, we're folding from the hinge on the hips. Ear, shoulder, hips right in good alignment. Hip, knee, and ankle in good alignment. Then we keep low, supporting the upper body with a hand on the bent knee. Bring the back of the other hand up and out. Can you feel that? Just stretch that shoulder right out. Yes. And then slowly come back down, sweep it across the body, and right over to that bent knee. Slowly we push ourselves up, taking the hand that was originally on the bent knee, thumb up, and drawing it back, and looking back. So we're working both our neck, opening up the chest, working the spine, and slowly we come back to center, reach right up to the sky, and all the way over. Pulling the top elbow back a little bit, stretching over more. You're doing great, and Connie and I are so happy you joined us. Slowly coming back to center. Ah. Now we're going to stretch out those legs a little bit, so grab a hold of that leg. If it's uncomfortable for you, you can grab a towel maybe and put it under your leg and lean back into your chair because your buttocks are at the front of the chair and circle the ankle. Good job. And then you reverse and go in the opposite direction. Excellent. Let's see if we can push that heel right up to the sky. Right up to the sky it goes. Our shoulders are relaxed. We feel terrific. And we bend the knee and let it come back to center. Then slowly we come up nice and tall, grabbing the other leg. Beautiful. Coming back, please, and circling the ankle. As you draw the knee to the chest, you feel a nice stretch in the buttocks and the hamstring. And then we go the other way. That's great. Strong ankles are so important. Uh, they are, especially like if it gets muddy or you have to walk on the lawn. Or if it's slippery and icy. That's absolutely correct. Then you push that heel right up to the sky. Wowee! If you curl the toe down, you're going to feel a nice stretch right here. Now Connie's doing something great. She's using her pant leg and that is A-OK. -okay. Thank you, Connie. <laughs> <laughs> Bend the knee and slowly come back to center. Breathing in, our spines are beautiful and long. 
we relax the hands down by the sides mm -hmm. then we bring our hands up and over now this little wrist hand is going to grab this little wrist pull it up and over feel that stretch right along the side excellent That's work great. isn't that a super duper i love that stretch then let's do it on the other let's side let's do this little hand grabs this little wrist pulls it up and over ah this is terrific <laughs> and then slowly come back to center relaxing the hands down by the sides rolling the shoulders mm. up back and down doesn't that feel terrific and now we're just going to do one little more twist and that's where we turn the body and we have one hand come outside the knee or the outer thigh the other hand come towards the hip this is a great 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 stretch to do now sometimes when we work with the arms our necks get a little tender mm -hmm. so we're going to get the tiniest tiniest neck stretch coming to center looking straight ahead tilt the head ear to shoulder ear to sky coming back to center please tilt the head ear to shoulder ear to sky coming back to center only turning the head looking over one shoulder excellent work coming back to center looking over the other shoulder back to center you did a great job today thank you for joining us and we will see you real soon Yaha! Funding for Simsbury Community Television is provided in part by contributions from viewers like you. Thank you.